Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the regular uh, JTask uh, project meeting. Uh, today we have uh, three contributors on the call. Me, and my name is Alek Nasher because I still use CD Foundation. And we have Kim Jacob uh, and uh, John uh, who also joined this meeting. Um, I'll open the agenda. Just a second. Okay, do you see my screen? Yes. Okay, so we have quite a usual agenda, so we will talk about news, about uh, what's uh, going on in terms of development, um, and yeah, then just a bunch of uh, updates which we had, like the developer tools. If I understand correctly, Sladin is not joining today. Also, Oktoberfest updates, and yeah, Jenkins LTS, uh, whatever, which we still need to talk about. Okay, so let's uh, go uh, to the agenda. We had uh, two releases uh, since uh, the previous meeting. Uh, one is 1.31 and another one is uh, 32. So, uh, Kim, uh, would you like to uh, speak briefly about them? Yeah, so 1.31, um, I think it was the first release with the new beta uh, JSON schema. Um, Oh, sorry. Nice. Right. Um, and also there was a fix to allow check for null to override nullable by default. Um, that was done for the SonarCube plugin, um, which has a pull request open to fix the SonarCube compatibility. <coughs> mm -hmm. yeah, it uh, was a regression maybe 1.24 or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and the other thing is the uh, YAML. <clears throat> uh, we're now testing almost all of our demos in the so in the demo folder. We now got integration tests for almost all of them, with the mm -hmm. configured with README um, JUnit rule. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see a lot of changes there. There's yeah, and, uh, there are still uh, some pull requests in the queue. Yeah, there's still three or four left. I I, I don't know his progress, but there seems to be a lot of them. Yeah, <clears throat> the power of Hacker first. <laughs> Yes, we can seriously thanks uh, to Victor for getting uh, it over the line because yeah, we started the uh, prototyping uh, of uh, demo testing one year ago uh, at the box of uh, all Jenkins fault means. So I to see that it uh, finally goes over the line. Uh, yeah, regarding else, we, well, uh, there was just one minor change in this release about uh, logging. The rest is rather about documentation, about dependencies. I guess we had a regression here new to JSON, didn't we? Yeah, I'm not sure how that passed the build. And when I went to fix it, it was failing. Yeah, so this one, right? Yeah, that one. Yeah, maybe we need to promote. Uh, did it uh, cause issues on the user side? Uh, yes, it did. Yeah, there was a um, there was a JSON class that mm -hmm. got pulled in by configuration as code. Um, okay. and that caused problems at runtime. Okay, then I'll probably uh, drag it uh, to the uh, bug fix. Uh, this one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I still don't understand why that passed the pull request and master build and whatnot, but failed later. Mm -hmm. One due to binary context. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. And yeah, regarding the rest, um, yeah, we have some progress uh, regarding uh, bill of materials. So now a lot of dependencies actually managed uh, by bill of materials for testing. So we don't manage plugin dependencies on our own. And uh, yeah, now we just picked up uh, the new version of uh, dependencies. And yeah, actually speaking of that, um, yeah, there is a repository, Jenkins CI bomb. And, uh, Gcask is now uh, a part of that. 
So if you do any kind of test automation with GCASC, if you have an uh, integrated set of plugins, you can use uh, this repository bill of materials in order to define the dependencies. For example, uh, and then uh, you get a validated set of plugins. GCASC is now a part of this set. And there should be a pull request uh, for update to the recent version, I guess. Has it been already integrated? Yeah, bump configuration has got from 1.30 to 1.32. And if I understand correctly, this is a tool uh, which helped us to discover this uh, regression because 1.31 was failing. So, yeah, I hope it's not positive. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, anything else about recent releases? Um, and one dot thirty two, was there anything else? Mm. Oh, well. I guess now, apart from dependency and some documentation fixes, yeah, I don't think there is a lot of things there. Yeah, just a lot of one level change. Yeah, this one oh. definitely uh, worth it. Yeah, and uh, we have a blog post from uh, Sladin in the flight, which will describe how to use uh, the new schema. But even now, there should be documentation uh, within JCAS repository. So, docs, uh, features. And yeah, here's a JSON schema which basically describes. Uh, okay. Yeah, looks like it needs some mm -hmm. ASCII dot fixes up. Mm, yeah. So I'll follow up with sliding on that, but yeah, uh, there are some guidelines, and yeah, we hope that there will be some uh, description how to use in IDEs soon, uh, because at yeah, the second phase of the project, it's actually support IDEs like Visual Studio Code. Yeah, there's a case study blog post that's pending that has instructions that will need to come in here as well. Yeah, so let's say you uh, Okay, so I'll just uh, take it from here. So, okay, maybe we should just finish uh, this part of that. So, yeah. Uh, this one is completed, at least more or less. Mm. Mm. One that's thirty one. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was another blog post uh, from Sliding about uh, um, just uh, please one report. Good news that we now really generate a schema which is consumable by users. Okay. Okay, let's go back uh, uh, to the agenda. Mm. So another thing we had over recent weeks is Hacktoberfest. So we just started in the Jenkins project and it started pretty well. So across the organization we had uh, almost 40 first timer contributors uh, who joined to participate in Hacktoberfest. Uh, we had hundreds of pull requests and yeah, as you have seen in the uh, 32 release, JCASC is not an exception. So JCASC also got uh, quite a number of uh, uh, contributions related to Hacktoberfest, and actually JCASC is a featured project for there. So if you go to Jenkins Events Hacktoberfest, uh, there is a feature of projects and there is JCASC, and basically we welcome you to contribute uh, to the plugin itself, to plugin compatibility in other components, and uh, I believe we still have some uh, new behind the issues that or not. I definitely start running out of new friendly issues and other components. And yeah, looks like he will also need to do something. So yeah, we basically don't have ones. So we, if somebody has any ideas in mind, what we could do. I, I thought we had the API docs one is there as well. 
maybe it's just not newbie friendly. Uh, yeah, so it's Hardtoberfest, but it's not newbie friendly. Ah. Well, yes, well, there was a comment from somebody also at this Hardtoberfest part, but yes, yeah. uh, no pull request. Mm -hmm. So what we really need to do is to actually mark more issues at Hardtoberfest because it helps us to bring in more conditions. If we have good first issues, it would be ideal. Uh, but yeah, I would say that uh, Hardtoberfest is a pretty efficient way to facilitate contributions. For example, I just spent uh, one hour in Jenkins Valorana on Monday to file some issues and to uh, teach uh, existing ones. And just two days later, you have something like that. So one, uh, two, three, and there is another fourth pull request which is in the flight. So it's a pretty uh, good opportunity, and if we can use it in JCast, it would be nice. So if anybody is watching this call, please do so. Uh, even if there is no tickets, just uh, uh, submit your pull request, submit your demos, and it will be already a great contribution. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions, comments about Photographers? Yes, not. Okay, regarding plugin compatibility, so again, we don't have a full list of changes, but we definitely have two important plugins which got JCast uh, compatibility recently. So, first one is Crypt Security plugin, uh, where we got. Uh, um, is it here? So it's an VK, I guess. Yeah. I'll create a ticket for that. But yeah, here there should be change lock on the bottom, and here we have yeah, JCAS compatibility released on September 13th. Uh, basically, now you can configure whitelist for pipeline, including class loading, whitelist, method whitelist, uh, directly from Jenkins configuration as well. And yeah, it's a pretty good enhancement if you really need that. Be aware of that, but well, uh, at least you can uh, configure the, the things now. And the second uh, plugin which got update is Git Client plugin. So what the issue we had there is that uh, uh, it wasn't possible to configure custom uh, Git providers like JGit. And uh, now there is a pull request uh, which actually uh, adds support so that. So, it was uh, contributed by Bobby Sandel, and it's already released. So if you rely on JGit, if you don't want uh, to use uh, Git CLI, then yeah, uh, you get a support for that right now. Am I missing any plugins in the list? Uh, the cloud-based Jenkins advisor has a pull request in flight. Yeah, I have uh, <coughs> it uh, in the list there, uh, well, uh, pending fixes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there was another one. Can't remember. Yeah. Audit trail. Uh, just got submitted recently. So audit trail is plugin in which uh, it's uh, some uh, diagnostic uh, logs for your directions. And admin actions within the system, etc. So uh, there is a pull request back here uh, to have <coughs> GCAS compatibility. Yeah, so this is a case where you probably use spill of materials. Uh, yeah, probably I'll just come and try right away. Yeah, I already added the same comment to uh, the CloudBees one. Mm. And just because it helps. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, so, I, yeah. Uh, yeah no, I know of at least two other in flight ones, but I can't remember if there are any other merged ones. Yeah. Actually it's a good topic because yeah, right now it's really difficult uh, to find But uh, did you get the GitHub one? Mm, not yet. Okay, the get the GitHub one was merged yesterday. Mm. Okay, merged but not released, and hence I missed that. Yeah, I think it's just yeah. merged. Mm -hmm. oh, Actually, it was released. Uh, 
this just cost yeah it was released uh, so yeah one thing that we still need to enable release drafter in this repository so that's why i missed that um okay just a second let's find it okay npr 13 it's the top right. one uh, yeah uh, Okay, you've enabled release drafter. Mm -hmm. I enabled the release drafter, but we have a bug on the release drafter, so maybe it's just not working for the repository. Okay. Um, just a second. Uh, yeah, I guess we should uh, come back to that because it's important. So, um, yeah, it's still pending because it's not released. Oh. So we. Has any released it? Oh, right. Sorry. Uh, okay. Right. So going back to release drafter, um, we have some plugins like uh, GitHub plugin and uh, uh, Gradle plugins. Uh, so I'm not sure about GitHub plugin, uh, but for Gradle plugin, uh, um, so. Stefan Wolf uh, has tried uh, to adopt the uh, free drafter there. Uh, basically, it didn't work. Um, uh, we did some investigation. Uh, we did some adoption uh, of uh, GitHub actions for that because uh, one biggest issue with release drafter app is that you didn't have access to logs of release drafter and hence you basically have no idea what failed. So here we have a GitHub action for release uh, drafter. And here you can see that it fails because uh, it cannot uh, read proper login uh, of uh, entity. Um, I reported this issue to release drafter. Uh, so it's uh, somewhere here, um, but uh, it hasn't been fixed yet. Um, and uh, I'm not sure what would be the right fix. Uh, yeah, this one. So I'm not the only one hitting it. Um, I'll probably apply just a quick hack to make it possible. But right now, some uh, plugins do not really work uh, with release uh, drafter. <laughs> we have at least uh, two components uh, in Jenkins uh, where it fails. Okay. So the error uh, was related to the rework uh, uh, simply. So there was a rework to um, support some changes um, and yeah, basically now well, welcome to JavaScript. So we basically have now author of pull request because uh, the payload processing didn't happen correctly. It doesn't seem to be a critical issue to just uh, put unknown here for what it was, uh, but yeah, uh, we will still need to go through the release cycle. So I hope to fix it uh, to for GitHub plugin and uh, Gradle because yeah, it's pretty important. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Regarding other ongoing development, um, so I'll just put release uh, the issues here. One thing I can see is to actually have a fork of a release draft and using it as GitHub action so that we can deliver fixes quickly in the Jenkins project. So maybe I'll move the GCASC to this approach as well. Okay, mm, so going back to ongoing development, uh, so we still have system with, uh, permission pull request in the Jenkins core. So basically the issue here is lack of reviews and we need to do something about it. I tested it locally, it works, but uh, yeah, there are so many implications of this change uh, that I'm not 100% sure. And, and actually I lean towards saying that it's a better feature. Uh, so maybe adding some feature flag or whatever uh, so that we do not enable it by default. Uh, because otherwise we will maybe it's not on the security issues in edge cases. Uh, what do you think about uh, this team? It wouldn't be 
it wouldn't be too hard. You just you should be able to just have it fall back to admin if the feature's not enabled. Exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> so one of the options here is so basically we have uh, the system read the, the other thing is the other thing is that someone has to enable it for it to go on anyway. And we have a plugin for that called extended read permission plugin. So I wonder whether we could do it here. Uh, so one thing that uh, there is already agreement to have a major uh, release of the plugin. Uh, so we are about cutting 3.0. Right now it uh, manages extended job read permission. So maybe we could integrate extended uh, system read permission right there. Or maybe to your new plugin. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Actually, maybe. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure what would be the best approach because yeah, we have this plugin, and we have. Um, yeah, it's it's in it's in my. I haven't got it hosted because it doesn't have any. Mm -hmm. Use all the core progress merged. Okay, so yeah, basically we could integrate it into this extended read permission because it some, sounds like a good uh, destination. And again, we are going through the incoming major release anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it could be a good option. Yeah, I can do that. Um, I need to call, to talk a bit uh, with that with Batiste, but uh, okay. So something like that. Um, so basically, how extensively the plugin works? Uh, for a long time, it was advertised as a smallest plugin. Ever in Jenkins, and basically it's still the smallest plugin ever. So if a system property is not set, then the permission is enabled. Uh, so we could do same for um, your new permission. So basically uh, have system property, maybe invert the system property so that it's disabled by default. And then uh, we can uh, use a reflection and whatever uh, to enable it uh, and still retain compatibility with other versions. Yeah, that, sh that wouldn't be too hard. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, if you could move uh, this code, uh, oh, I can uh, talk to Batiste and then we could uh, see whether we could integrate it in such way. Yeah, yeah, and then I, I can just get rid of my plugin and just move it there as well. Yeah, it has a conveniently generic name for that. Mm So yeah, uh, I think this one we can move forward with such approach uh, because yeah, well, it, it will address security concerns from this uh, security or at least uh, it will make them uh, less impactful if something goes south. Because this plugin has a relatively low installation number and even there we can still advertise it as an experimental feature. Yeah. Okay, so Regarding the rest, yeah, integration tests and demos is something we already discussed. So Victor Martinez already integrated a huge number of pull requests. Uh, we still have some. So what do we have? Yeah, it depends on what uh, makes other things <laughs> even more complicated in the list. Okay, so we have um, GitHub demo, which is approved. So maybe if somebody else could review it, we could just lend it. Uh, we have some demo, which doesn't seem to pass CI now. Yeah, it's because of that massive um, 
dependency list or flaky CI, one of the two. Yeah, actually, maybe we should uh, start like, working on integration tests because uh, this approach is uh, having a single POM file uh, to do the wall. It's not going to last for long. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I hope that the bomb would help quite a lot with that. But Yeah, actually, uh, what I'm thinking... And, and the Jenkins bomb as well, once that's mm -hmm. out, should hopefully help even more. Yeah, Jenkins bomb as well. Uh, what I'm uh, thinking is that uh, we actually have Jenkins file runner in current release. And uh, actually, it includes some improvements for the vanilla image. So one of the things is that the vanilla image now uses uh, the same uh, bill of materials uh, yeah, uh, for player games. So what we could do is to actually use um, a vanilla image um, and uh, just install additional plugins because what we need uh, from Jenkins file runner is to basically verify our configuration. Uh, so if you, oh no, there are unit tests. So yeah, it's more complicated. But we could definitely update uh, uh, the rule to just invoke uh, Jenkins file runner and to ensure that uh, the configuration passes there. And in such case, we can start unraveling this uh, dependencies club. Uh, but yeah, maybe it's a moonshot uh, at the moment. So, I'm not sure. What do you think, Tim? Uh, do we need to worry about that right now? I don't think we need to worry about it right now. Um, mm -hmm. they, seem, they seem stable, like unless it's at the actual Jenkins CI having an issue. Mm -hmm. Uh, but for Jenkins here, we at least have uh, GitHub, uh, GitHub yeah, actions running. Yeah, GitHub actions are working well. Mm -hmm. so GitHub actions do not verify Windows for us right now, right? Um, I'm not sure. Just a sec. Uh, just a second. Which yeah, if, you go to the pull, if you go to the pull request, it, sh it shows, I think. But here we are. Uh, actually, we run on Windows. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know if Jenkins CI runs on Windows, but like our Jenkins CI, I don't think our Jenkins CI does. Um, yeah. So, I think they're too, they're too flaky and too slow. Yeah, we disabled Windows CI here. So, yeah, I think that uh, we can just rely on GitHub actions for now. Yeah, good to have the coverage there. So, you don't. <laughs> So that when you release, you don't have problems. <laughs> yeah. I don't touch windows, but. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. Uh, so, um, do we, uh, so VS Code plugin for Jenkins is something uh, in development uh, by Sladian. Uh, by the way, do we have a GitHub link for that? Uh, yep. Yeah. Because Sladian said he invited me, but uh, I lost the link for sure. Yeah. I guess it's somewhere here. Yeah, it'll just be at the top somewhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have something going on here. Also, this formatting issues. Yeah, there's GitHub issues for those. Mm -hmm. Okay, should we actually host it on Jenkins CI? Yeah, yeah we definitely want to host it. Um, I think he was just trying to get something somewhat working first. But it would be good if, if we had it hosted, we could have all the issues in the one project in the organization. Yeah. Par currently, currently, the issues are split in two places. Mm -hmm. We can have issues, we can use uh, Jenkins. Uh, Release router configuration, we can use uh, other bits like Dependabot. So yeah. We have Dependabot for JavaScript samples now. But, well, yeah, there's, there's, a, there's an issue to get it hosted. It just wasn't a huge priority as we kind of wanted to have something working before hosting. But. Okay. Anyway. It would be nice, and we it's definitely nice uh, to get it hosted before it goes to the VS Code marketplace. Because otherwise, uh, it will be a problem. 
-hmm. Okay. Yep. So, yeah. Anything else in active development now? Um, so does the SonarQ plugin has a progress to fix compatibility. Um, build monitor plugin has one as well. Um, hopefully get the build monitor one merged soon. Yeah, so uh, I'm not sure. Do we have any maintainer of build monitor? Uh, build monitor is in Jan Molak. Okay. It's not hosted in Jenkins. Yeah, I thought we it is. Uh, okay, I was wrong. The monitor plugin. Uh, this one, right? Uh, I was just about yeah, to send it on. Uh, yeah, yeah Moloch. Okay. Why don't we post it on Jenkins? It's the top issue on the GitHub issues. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I need to come in there because. Without hosting it uh, on uh, uh, Jenkins GitHub, uh, you cannot uh, uh, get documentation uh, published on plugin site. Okay. Uh, Add more justification uh, for the. Integration. Mm. Yeah. I'm not sure whether it's a feature or bug, uh, but right now we'll be support on the Jenkins CIO. Well, it was explicitly done in that way. I don't. Well, we discussed uh, this use case with uh, Zbigniew. And most of us agree that we don't want to worry about it. Yeah. Uh, just, yeah. I was just trying to narrow the security scope, I guess. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, when uh, we, it's uh, within the uh, Jenkins CI organization, at least we as uh, Jenkins Org admins, uh, know for sure that we can uh, influence the change. Uh, okay. Um, so, yeah, that one. Uh, Uh, and what was the reason uh, not to use uh, not move? Oh, historical um, cloud based div cloud beta. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. So hopefully we will get it moved because then yeah, it will simplify the things. This plugin is quite popular. Okay. So this is a follow up to what Daniel is doing, I believe. No. Okay. Yeah. So the JKask one says JKask in the title. I put it in the chat. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we yeah, are one thing that at this plugin we will definitely need to move, not port. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a transfer. Okay. So we yeah. mm. I'll just uh, monitor through that, but yeah, I think we can get it over the line. Uh, cool. So are there any uh, other fixes uh, for plugins which need attention? Mm. No, there was there was a regression and build failure analyzer. Um, from the JKS support. Um, uh, yeah, but it 
was fixed by Bobby just in case this. Uh, it's got a pull request for it. Uh, yeah, this one. Um, yeah. Okay, I guess it's going to end soon. Yeah. I think it's pending some tests. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe uh, actually what I was thinking about plugin compatibility. So before that in Jenkins project, we had uh, Java 11 support, yeah, which uh, was helping uh, contributors uh, with getting the GFAS, uh, sorry, Java 11 compatibility fixes over the line. Would it make help uh, to have similar thing for GFAS? Yeah, makes sense. Have a have a public team that people can tag as well. Currently, we quite often get tagged individually. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can create one if you're fine. Yep. Yeah, so if uh, both of us agree that uh, we want it, then I can create it. Uh, yep. Uh, John, would you like to join? Yeah, sure. And I'll also talk uh, somebody from colleagues, so maybe they could also join. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, yeah, one thing it's about uh, corporate, but yeah, maybe it's interesting to some uh, watchers that uh, Office now offers a GCASC plugin as a tier two. I mean, uh, the rest is available uh, for the plugin. So yeah, maybe we will get some contribution there from that side. Okay, so developer tools, I believe we discussed that. October first. Well, basically, I talked about that uh, already. One additional thing that we have meetups. So, for example, there will be meetup uh, uh, tomorrow in uh, Switzerland. There will be two meetups uh, next week in Munich. Uh, there will be meetups in Saint Petersburg in other cities. So that if somebody wants uh, to organize a specific JCask hackathon, please do so. Uh, because yeah, what I do basically, I put a JCask topic to every hackathon. So that uh, if everybody wants to work on that, uh, it's more than welcome. So if somebody wants to organize anything local, it should be really cool. Okay. So we are slowly running out of time. Mm, uh, do you want to discuss this uh, wish list? Yeah, I've got to leave in one minute. Okay. okay. John, any updates from you? No, just they uh, are float basically. Mm -hmm. okay. So, if there is nothing else to discuss, um, yeah, I think we can uh, close down the meeting. Uh, maybe one quick update to get ongoing development. So, two days ago, I started hacking support of external uh, credential definitions. So right now we can uh, define uh, secrets um, as, uh, well, there are ways to discuss them, to define them from Vault, from Docker, from Kubernetes, also environment variables. Uh, but uh, there is also a way to just uh, define them right in the configuration file um, in an encrypted way or in plain text uh, if you feel uh, brave. Uh, but the problem that uh, encryption right now works on the uh, for the same instance. Uh, so basically, it should be here. Yeah, this config export story, etc. Uh, the problem that uh, secrets are encrypted of for a single instance. What I was thinking to do is to support the external encryption. So, for example, like uh, we have here data and whatever uh, for Jenkins, we have Kubernetes secrets. And basically, it's a way to pass encoded uh, secrets here. So I was about uh, doing the same for JCast. So having the opportunity to pass encoded secret. 
and then uh, in configuration as code context, you can pass uh, pass to the uh, private key which decrypts there, and then you can uh, uh, basically share these configurations between instances. And uh, as long as you provide a private key uh, for decryption, you can uh, use uh, the same file on multiple instances. So something I would like to show later. Very interesting. Yeah, but it's a lot of heads up. I haven't got to it uh, <laughs> yet. Well, I got it working. I need to have a productized solution. Yeah, cool. Okay, okay. so team uh, had to go. And yeah, I think it's Happened. time to close down the meeting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So thanks. Long, uh, long agenda today. Yeah, right. Uh, so. Yeah, next time we should uh, cut it short somehow. <laughs> Probably just uh, by uh, somebody else running the meeting. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, thanks everyone uh, for watching. Uh, and uh, again, uh, all contributions are welcome, whether it's uh, Hacktoberfest or not. Uh, just submit pull requests and we will try to have get them landed. Okay. All right. Bye. See you. Bye. See you.